Hi there, I'm Becky Dean with usbornbooks.com. Today I'm going to give you a quick orientation of Usborn's encyclopedias so you know which ones are best for your family. Encyclopedias are a great thing to invest in for your home library because you can't actually in, uh, rent or check out encyclopedias from the library. So they're great for learning at home. So let me run you through the different options we have for the different ages. The Children's Encyclopedia from Usborn is a great resource for your preschoolers and early elementary. It covers all kinds of different topics and what it is is actually a uh, a bind up or um, it has several different titles in one from this particular series, our first encyclopedia series. And so you can see there it's a huge savings versus buying each of these individual titles at $10 a piece. So this is a great money saving option for you. And what's unique about it as well is that many of our encyclopedias are internet linked. And so um, you can utilize some of that resource. So you can see that there's a star by the, the item or by the picture. And so when you see that star by a picture, you can go ahead and um, make your own a little diagram with it to make your own worksheets. So I did that for my own kids when I was homeschooling. And so it was just a great way to, to utilize this book. And you can also use this book like as a unit based study, like your study guide, because it'll just be topical and you can read the two pages and then go and pull in other resources. So the Usborn Children's Encyclopedia is a great resource for that kindergarten, um, preschool and early elementary age. We also have a couple dictionaries that you can still do that unit-based study approach if you'd like. So there's this illustrated elementary science dictionary and you can see it's got all different topics that you're covering uh, with, with this book. Um, so this is for a little bit younger age. So you're gonna have your elementary and you can again utilize it as a unit-based study guide to pull in the resources as you're going along and reading that. Um, we also have the illustrated dictionary of science and this one is a little bit different in that it is uh, a lot older uh, but it also has is a combined volume again of the physics chemistry and biology so a lot older um, some will say it's more like your your high school and college level uh, it also is just a nice resource for them maybe to read before and uh, their, their school end testing so the illustrated dictionary of science it differs and it is uh, the illustrated biology chemistry and physics all in one and speaking of dictionaries, we also have some math dictionaries. So elementary math dictionary and the illustrated dictionary of math. Um, you know what, they're just a great resource to be able to have, just to be able to understand when you can't find, you don't understand what the textbook is saying, just to look that up. Uh, and I know my kids all brought this one to college as well. So this one will be about seventh grade up through college. And then this one will be your elementary math dictionary. So now for your older elementary, seventh grade, um, up to even to high school, you're gonna find that the science encyclopedia is one of your best values because it is a combined volume. It has all of those topics in it. So animal world, earth and space, energy forces and motion, human body, light, sound, electricity, materials, mixtures and compounds and plants. All of those books in and complete are within, are within this book. And it's laid out again in that two page layout. And the huge advantage, I mean, you're saving $60 on this versus buying those titles like that you would have been buying those individually. Um, but the huge advantage of this book is that it is internet linked. There's over a thousand recommended websites in it. So how does that work? Let me open up a page and show you. All right, so as you're reading the book, you're gonna see that you're gonna have a QR code on some of the pages on, and on this book on every page. And so what that means is that you would scan that with a QR code or reader. Actually, usually your phone, you just scan it and it'll come out right out to the website. And on this one, you're gonna scan the code to watch a video about acids and, and bases. Um, on this page, you're going to scan a code to tour a plane's cockpit and see the controls. Now that's just bringing you to one website. You actually are going to go, it'll, you're going to go to usbarn-quicklinks.com and that's where we're going we're gonna to have about five, six websites for each of these pages. So that's where it gets the thousand recommended websites. Now what's one problem with putting websites in a book? is that they can go out of date. 
So they solve that, Usborne does, by not actually listing those websites here. Instead, you're going to go to that website, usborne-quicklinks.com, put in the keyword and the page number for this book. Uh, usually they're found on the front or the back if they're an internet linked book. And then, then you put in the page number and then the websites show up for that particular page. So a huge resource, right? Because you get all of the, the value of the internet without putting the search topics in yourself because if you put in human body for example you'd have to sort through a lot of different things before you found something that would be effective for your children or safe so they have already vetted these and um, so there's just a really huge resource for you another thing you're gonna notice um, if you can see there's some stars by the pictures so they're a little hard to show up but they're these little itty bitty stars by the picture. Um, that means that that is a downloadable picture off of our website as well on the same website. And so like if you wanted to do like a science project about the about flight, you could download those pictures and put it put it there for you, just like how I did the worksheets for my kids in the earlier book. So that's again going to be all, 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 all around on each of these pages. You're going to find the stars pages. Um, also, this book is very unique, and it's kind of a, a book that would be your your complete curriculum. It can be because it has the see it for yourself boxes almost on every page. They're going to have an experiment box for the for the material that you were you covered on those two pages. So with this with the the see it for yourself boxes, it throws in the experiments for you. Sometimes the internet sites you're actually doing an experiment online, and then in the very back of your book, you're also going to find review questions for each of the sections each of those individual books in there so the science encyclopedia great for that older elementary um, seventh grade uh, even high school I use this for my son for his seventh grade textbook so that can be used as well so in the same series as the science encyclopedia you're gonna find the geography encyclopedia with a complete world atlas this again is a combined uh, almost a combined volume not quite there's a few pages missing but it does include a world atlas and so with that world atlas the maps are updated at every printing so to be as much current as possible it is internet linked just like the other it has peoples of the world planet earth essential atlas and then weather and climate change so all of those in there for only $19.99 and it's just a great resource like if you're having an earthquake that you see somewhere you can go and you can open that up and then the maps are all in the back so would re highly recommend also the geography encyclopedia with that science some other resources for you for the social studies aspect is understanding business and then politics and government. So both of these books are really excellent as covering a real quick overview of the topic and really being able to understand things. And I read them myself and I was... I was actually really impressed with them, um, but they also have uh, just this, the little bubbles where you can go through and decide for yourself if you're a socialist or a capitalist. Uh, just it covered all different types of government, so excellent resource just to add on for your social studies aspect, for your social studies the top. So in that same series as the geography and the science, you also have the Encyclopedia of World History, which I would highly recommend. It is a huge savings as well. You're going to have prehistoric world, ancient world, the last 500 years, all of that will be included in this book and um, it goes all the way up to the year 2000. So this book is like a timeline in a book. So you can see there's a timeline on the bottom and then they show uh, which section of the the world you're in by colors and so they'll have all of that down there it also is internet linked I did go to this particular website the, the links are right up here where you could actually take a virtual tour of the pyramids it was pretty awesome um, but you're gonna see like here's the Hebrew Kingdom and they'll show it in red because that's the Middle East um, here is the Vikings and they'll show it in blue because that's in Europe and then they've got here they've got the samurai and they'll show it the far east in in that color and then they've got the aztec empire they'll sort of have the americas so they show the the timeline on the bottom and the blocks of time that they're talking about and then it goes all the way up to the year 2000 so you're going to find all that information there and then they'll have internet links on every page as well for you to take advantage of so the Encyclopedia of World History is what happened when where. Um, the Timelines of World History also is like that, but in a little bit of a different way. So here what they do, instead of having the topic on each country on those two pages, they have the columns, they have it separated out, and you're going to have each country 
in the geography on each page of what happened when where so still like a timeline of what happened when uh, but in a little bit different format and probably a little bit less uh, content as far as versus the world history encyclopedia and one of my favorites in our encyclopedia series is World Wars. It is a combined volume of both the First World War and the Second World War in one. So instead of like buying an individual title, you're going to find it all in one and you're going to say $14. Now I had one gentleman at a booth next to me, he he read the, just the Second World portion out of this. It was kind of a slow booth, uh, but he said it was one of the best he ever read and he was kind of a World War II buff. So it is an excellent book just to give an overview of what happened. So let's show you inside. So the table of contents, you can always pause it and do a blow up to try and see those, but it just covers very unique topics as you're going through the book. Everything from, I have, I have a lot of fingers here, um, the assassination where the First World War started, and you've got the jihad, genocide of the Armenian Christians. Um, you've got women in war. So just, just very unique topics that you may have not seen elsewhere in other books. And then the world at war. Um, you've got you can and you can watch the invasion of Germany uh, into Poland. Um, and again, it's internet linked on all of those. So you can see up here. You can actually watch the film footage of Germany invading Poland. Some additional things to do with the uh, internet links, like here for Pearl Harbor, you can actually go online and listen to the actual radio broadcast reporting the attack. So that's kind of a fun thing to do just to commemorate on uh, Pearl Harbor Day, just to remember that. Um, here's like they talk about propaganda. Here you can take a virtual tour of Auschwitz. So it really is a great study for your kids to be able to not repeat, repeat uh, his, you know, mistakes in the past, um, but it also is just for even a coffee table book for yourself as well. So I sell a lot of this to adults more than I probably do kids, but it's a great resource for your family just to learn about both the history of World War I and World War II. And of course, Usborn has all kinds of resources on all different topics. So just take a look and look at it. We excel in nonfiction and have several different things for you available. If you do have any questions about any of our products, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I've seen or read or used most of those. So thank you.